y'all. Today we are gonna make the cutest little cow cake you ever did see. We're gonna have a long fur on our little calf with some cute little flowers. I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it. So follow along. All right, to start, I am just going to stack and crumb coat my cake as usual. Now that my cake is layered, I'm just gonna go back and crumb coat. And just a little reminder, if you don't already know, a crumb coat is just holding in all your crumbs so that when I go to do my final layer of buttercream, you don't see all these crumbs on the outside. So this just locks in everything. So now that my cake is all crumb coated, I'm gonna stick this in the fridge to chill and we're gonna make some of our decorations. Okay, for this cake, you might be wondering, Charlie, why are you using modeling chocolate? You always have fun it. and you're exactly right because I normally do. But for this, I am gonna use modeling chocolate because kind of everybody knows chocolate melts. So the warmer this gets, the softer it gets. The colder it gets, the harder it gets. So it'll dry pretty hard. It tastes a little bit better than fondant and it's a little easier to work with for what we're doing. And then I am just gonna section off a few different colors. They're all gonna be kind of shades of brown. So I'm just gonna do little chunks so I can color all of the shades. I'm gonna start with just one drop of brown, and then the next one I maybe do two, and then the next one I'll probably do brown and tan, just to get all of the shades. I have my first color done, it's pretty light, but I also left just a little bit of marbling, not a lot, it's like 99% mixed in and I'm just leaving it because I want that dimension and color. So I'm gonna do this for all the rest. I am done coloring my modeling chocolate, so I'm going to throw these away, and then I'm gonna clean up my board with the color on it so that they don't mix in, and we'll get to rolling out little hairs. I am just gonna split this in half and soften it up just a little bit, and then try to form just with my hands a little cone shape. So point it at the end, thicker at the bottom, just like this. And I'm gonna try to do the same thing to this one, getting them kind of the same size, but then again, the cow's horns are not always the same. I will take the side and you can kind of curve up and it'll stay, but you want it to dry that way. So curving up about halfway to the end so that this part can sit on your cake. I just finished the horns for our little cow and I dusted them with a little bit of cornstarch so they didn't stick to my board. So I'm gonna set these aside and start working on the little nose for our cow. I am gonna take a little bit of my tan modeling chocolate and make a pretty good circle, bringing it in just a little at the bottom so kind of a rounded off triangle. And then I'm gonna take my little ball tool. So I'm gonna make the little nostrils. So just two. Lines here. And then I can go back and smooth out. And then I'm gonna do it the mouth really fast to just the end of the night. And then I just have a little like silicone paintbrush that I'm gonna go back and just accentuate the mouth. Now I'm going to set this aside and start making our fur. All right, I am just gonna roll out my lightest color. With my knife, I'm just gonna cut little parts. They can be different sizes. Now I have just started rolling my little hairs or fur. So I have just taken my little pieces that I've cut out and I'm just rolling them into long strips. 
thinner at the bottom and a little bit thicker at the top. Okay, first of all, guess who got new pans so y'all don't have to look at all of our old rusty pans. So, so let's just take a moment. Thank you. And second of all, I have four pans of these and my mom and I did them for about two hours. So um, clear out your day if you're making these and find a friend and a good TV show because they'll take you forever. But moving on, I have my horn and nose here that I am going to paint with just a little bit of cocoa powder. So I have just a little bit of cocoa powder and a paintbrush and I'm just gonna dust all over my horn. You don't want it super evenly coated. Getting some white, getting some darker patches. This is the perfect time that you could decide if you wanted to paint this with like food coloring and alcohol, but I prefer for this more like dirty look to use cocoa powder. So I have my horns done and I'm just gonna go back with a really light layer on my nose as well. And then once this is covered, I will take just a small paintbrush, take a little bit of black food coloring, and I'll paint just right inside the little nostril. And then with my same black food coloring on my paintbrush, I'm just gonna wipe some off so that there's just a little bit on my brush and go in in the mouth. Now that my horns and nose is done, I will go back and just add a little bit of cocoa powder at the end once my little nostrils are dry, just to matten it out a little bit. But since these are pretty much done, I'm gonna set this aside and get my cake to finish decorating. My cake is out of the refrigerator and I am just gonna ice this as usual, starting with the top and making my way down the bottom with just white buttercream for my final layer before we start decorating. Are you ready to decorate? Because I got everything ready and have already gone ahead and traced out where I think I want my head. So I just use this little needle tool from Michaels or Walmart, I think but you can definitely just use a toothpick. It does the same thing. So I just traced out where I think I want my head. And then I am gonna dust off any extra cocoa powder on my horns. I have both of my horns with their toothpicks and I am gonna sit this, these right, one toothpick is gonna be kind of outside of where I want my head to be and the other is gonna be in. I'm about an inch and a half back from the side of my cake, and then I have horns ready. And then with a little bit just of extra modeling chocolate, I'm gonna take a little bit, roll it up, and put it in between. And then I have just a little more that I'm just gonna shape and lay it right in front. Kind of smooth this out. Now, it doesn't look very neat, but it will be covered, so you don't have to worry about it. Now that this is done, I am gonna start taking my fur and start at the bottom of the face, so like where the chin would be. I'm gonna take my little furs, furs, hairs, whatever you want to call them, and put them the first layer will stick to the icing, so I don't need to put any glue on this. So I can just stick it where it just a little bit hangs out of the bottom of where I want the face to go. And I have all my colors mixed up, so I'm gonna start my first layer with all my different colors. So I have my first layer of my fur done on the bottom. And at this point, I want to add my little nose. So I'm gonna do the same thing and just add a few toothpicks. Just 
So now that I have my little nose on, I am gonna go back with all of my little hairs and with a skinny brush, I can just use a little bit of piping gel I have right here, paint it on the back, and then when I stick it, they will stick to each other. And then I'll do this all the way up. So I am just adding a little piece of modeling chocolate right above the nose. So it's coming along slowly, to be honest, but it's coming along. So I just have to keep adding in between open spots and filling up over the top with all my different colors. Now that all of my little hairs are on, I'm just going back in with the little brush I used for my cocoa powder and dusting off some of this extra cornstarch while also using my cocoa powder and just filling in kind of with the anywhere you see white so it just disguises it. And I also want this to look a little dirty because cows are dirty. Now that I am about to put on my finishing touches, I'm just folding up a few of the little hairs so that they show from the top. And then I have just these little roses that are so cute that I am gonna cut off some of the stem. You can see I have these folded up just a little bit and I'm gonna center my first rose with the nose, just sticking it in, in between the chocolate. 